Today's video, we're gonna take a look at this one owner 2014 Scion FRS. We'll go ahead and unlock it, take it for a drive, and see what this car has to offer. So setting off in the FRS, Acceleration is not the strongest aspect of the FRS, but that's not why you're buying this car. You're buying it because it handles very, very well. Taking these turns, the steering wheel is so precise, just making around the turns. Little input you have to do to the steering wheel and the car is all over the road. Just giving it a little bit of a turn and we're making that turn very nicely. The car is also extremely practical. We have rear seats in the back. Not the most roomy for people to sit back there, but great for storage and they do fold down flat to make the trunk even larger. You do have a very nice trunk back there. So overall practicality is definitely there in this car. It's very easy to fit all your daily items in the back of the car. The trunk's nice, the rear seat space is great, and the overall comfort in the cabin is really nice as well. Not too much road noise in it. The visibility is very nice. Looking out of the front, you can easily see everything you need to see. You can also see a really cool wheel arch on either side of the hood, which also helps you know exactly where the car is. You know exactly where all four corners of the car are. Looking out of the side of the car, the little windows up here help eliminate the blind spots, and then looking over your left and your right shoulder, visibility is really nice all around. This car is a one owner vehicle local to North Carolina and only has just over 40,000 miles on it. The six speed manual is a breeze to operate, super easy to do a rev matching downshift on your own. And going through all the gears, it's a very notchy gearbox, easy to pick the next gear. There's no slop to it whatsoever. The shifter itself has a very short throw, very easy to pop it into the gear and the clutch pedal, you only have to push it down a few inches for it to disengage. So overall driving dynamics of the car are really nice. It's a sharp pinpoint car to drive. It's very nimble and really tossable around all the turns. The steering is probably the best thing. And then with the very low center of gravity due to the four cylinder boxer engine underneath the hood, it has limited body roll taking the turns. And when you're just cruising in the car, the suspension seems to do a very nice job of absorbing all the bumps, but also allowing a lot of feedback when taking a hard turn. When the FRS first was introduced back in 2012 as a 2013 model year, it was introduced as an affordable sports car from Toyota in partnership with Subaru, using Subaru's engine, the four-cylinder boxer engine, and then a lot of Toyota in it as well. They created a very reliable vehicle that was fun to drive, easy to maintain and work on yourself. But now on the used market, they are a heck of a price, under $20,000 by quite a lot. You are getting a fun to drive, rear wheel drive sports car, practical for your daily day commute, easy to drive with a nice fluid six speed manual transmission. It takes the turn so well, an absolute blast to take this out on the mountain roads, the country roads, or of course the track and the autocross courses. The only real downside with the FRS, the acceleration isn't really all too impressive. When you match the gas, it gets up to speed, but it does not throw you back in your seat and give you that very powerful feeling. But the sacrifice you're making with a little bit less acceleration than other cars, you're more than making up for the handling characteristics and the overall fun to drive sports car feel. So I hope you all enjoyed going for a POV test drive in the Scion FRS. It's a fun car to drive, really easy to drive. This might be your first manual transmission vehicle. Really easy car to learn on. It'll definitely be a great first car or second car. Super practical, fun to drive, looks amazing inside and out. The exterior lines are very sharp and the interior is really sporty as well. So thanks for watching and we'll see you all next video.